his eyes grew heavy, and it was time for his evening meds. Pills for his back, pills for his nerves, pills for his mood, and one for his dreams. The shrink explained that this last one, Plazosin, might ease his somniferous, slumbering terrors that continually racked his body and mind with fits and frozen sweats most unkind. A handful of pills went down easier than the last bit of beef. It's true, still, he was not brought semblance of comfort nor ease as the minutes went by and he watched out the window as the waning moon traveled throughout the evening sky. One last stance, acrid cigarette before bed. One last taste of reality before crashing through the gates of oblivion. And there it is, the antediluvian, seamless universe. It finds Mr. West once again. Bile boils in his viscera as Mr. West finds himself hand in hand with his long-lost love, Belle. Belle who killed herself five years ago, a victim of what antiquated psychiatrists would have labeled a monomania of pride. I can only take you this far, she says, her body dissolving to desiccated sand and silt until she's finally gone. There, on the horizon, be it in black and dark. Thy quiescent hometown of youth 